Now usually when you're making a stroganoff, it's done with beef, but I wanted to change it up slightly by using chicken breast. So I've just been heating up a pan on a medium to high heat and we need to seal off the meat. So a splash of extra virgin olive oil and I'll start cutting the chicken. Now chicken breast is so lean that it doesn't need long at all to cook in the pan. So I seal it off for flavour at the beginning and then we'll return it back to the pan after everything else is cooked. So I'm going to take off these little tenderloins and we'll just slice through them. And we want everything roughly that size. So we're just going to cut into strips. And then because these are too long, we're going to cut them again. So into little battens if you like. And the second one. Okay, that pan's nice and hot, so in with our chicken. And I'm using a large pan here, so I don't have to do batch cooking. And I need to season this, so some salt and freshly cracked pepper. Now while that seals on that side, let's get on to the onion. I'm going to change board and knife and we're going to slice these quite thinly, getting this dish done as fast as possible. And the second half. And two cloves of garlic and then roughly chop it. Okay, done. Let's have a look at the chicken. I'm going to turn it over. See how we've got nice colour on that? Colour is flavour. Now that I've turned it over, the chicken's almost cooked. So I'll take it out and we'll just let it sit to one side while we cook our onions and garlic. So another small splash of extra virgin olive oil. And then in with our slices of onion. And the garlic. And then these are going to take a few minutes to cook, so I'll get on to my mushrooms. I'm using two varieties of mushrooms for this. I like the combination of button mushrooms, and I'm just going to slice them. And I'm also using dried porcini mushrooms. If you can get your hands on dried porcini mushrooms, grab them, because they're fantastic to have in the cupboard on standby for recipes like this. This is about 50 grams, and I've rehydrated them in some warm water. And this is going to turn into a lovely stock for our chicken stroganoff. Now, these mushrooms, again, we're just going to keep slicing them. Look how fresh they are. You know these are great quality mushrooms because they're firm, not too spongy, and the gills aren't exposed. So just a few of these. Okay, let's pop these mushrooms in with our onions. They're lightly caramelised. So we'll give that a toss and a small amount of salt and some pepper. Okay, for our porcini mushrooms, I'm going to drain them from our liquid. So you're going to squeeze that liquid out. Oh, and try not to get it all over yourself. Lucky it's only water. And we're just going to roughly chop these. Okay, they can go in with the other mushrooms. Smelling fantastic now. Those porcini mushrooms are such a great addition to this because they almost have a concentrated mushroom flavour. So if you like, you could actually leave out the other mushrooms and just add them. They're going to be fantastic with the chicken. I'm just going to separate them with my wooden spoon. And for the classic flavour that goes with every type of stroganoff, some paprika, a sweet paprika. We'll add that now, a generous amount, and just let that toast off for a moment just to release some of its flavour. Oh, smells good. And to thicken the sauce and also give it an extra depth of flavour, I love the addition of some tomato paste. And mix that in. And now I'm going to return our chicken and any of those juices. And we're going to deglaze with some white wine. And that reduces immediately. So we can follow that with our mushroom stock. Fantastic. Now I'm just going to allow this to reduce for about three to four minutes. 
And then all we need to do is finish it off with some sour cream, yum-o. In the meantime, I'll get the garnish ready, which is just finely chopping some gherkins and some dill. Reduced quite nicely. The sauce is thickened too. It smells great. It's going to taste even better with our sour cream addition. We need two spoonfuls of sour cream, and this is going to give it a lovely tart flavour too. So you can be quite generous with it. And with sour cream, it just needs a little stir to melt into our sauce and thicken again. And I just love this part when you see the sour cream sort of ripple in to the other sauce and then you've got this glossy finish, just fantastic. Now, this is not traditional, but I love the addition of the pickling liquid because I'm going to serve it with pickles. It has a lovely sweet flavour to it, so just a small amount can go in for some extra flavour. And then again, we'll just stir that in and look how fast that sauce thickens. All right, I'm really happy with the consistency of this, so let's turn that off and we'll plate up. I'm using some steamed rice today. You could also serve it with some pappardelle pasta. A small spoonful onto a plate. And we'll grab our reinvented stroganoff, if you like, and we'll pop that on top. A few spoonfuls. Lots of sauce, let that cascade down. Mm. And for that pop of colour, our pickles that I've just sliced quite roughly. And dill. There you go, stroganoff. It's probably one of the fastest stews you can do. It's fantastic with beef, but it's also really good with chicken. Mm.